everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 24 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I'm going to be trying the other magnetic eyelashes from Ardell and hopefully I have a better time with these ones than the full eyelashes that I tried two days ago. So the full eyelashes were probably the biggest failure I've had throughout this whole new makeup product everyday challenge. Oh, I was so surprised at how impossible those eyelashes were. But I'm very hopeful about these accent ones. Is that what they're calling the half band magnetic eyelashes? Well, these are the Ardell Magnetic Accents 001. These I got, like I said before, I got them at CVS. Buy two, get one free. Wow, so these have three tiny magnets on each set. And the full length ones had four tiny magnets. The half eyelashes that I'm used to putting on that are magnetic only have one magnet. So, I don't know, these three magnets could be kind of hard to work with. Gently pulling them off the package because they're glued. Oh, great. So like, just as I was saying that, one of the eyelashes ripped off as I was pulling it off the package because they're so strangely glued down instead of just being on a magnetic tray like my other magnetic eyelashes came in and I never had that problem of eyelashes ripping out like I just had happened to me. That's awful. Okay. So I'm just gonna rest the top one on my eyelashes and try and magnetize it to the bottom. Here we go. Okay, so at least these ones magnetized to each other easily and found each other right away. The only thing is it's like hanging off like halfway off of my eyelashes and it needs to get closer to the base. I was having a hard time getting it to lay on my eyelashes because it kept sticking to my finger. So as you just saw, I did pull them off very easily. Okay, let's try it again and try and get it a little bit lower down. All right, so that time, I do feel like I got it down on the base of my eyelashes pretty well, but I just didn't get it all the way to the outer edge of my eyelashes. It's kind of a little bit too in the middle of my eye. They feel pretty nice though. They feel heavier than the magnetic eyelashes I'm used to. I keep talking about this video. If you haven't seen it, I will link it below so that you can check out my other eyelash tutorial on how to put on magnetic eyelashes in the pair that I actually really like that I got from Amazon months and months ago. I'm gonna try for the third time to get this in the right place. So now that I have it on basically how I think it's supposed to go, I mean, at least it was a lot easier to apply because that was three tries, that wasn't bad. The other ones were like nearly impossible. At least these ones, like for me, were kind of easy to put on. It's just like they look so, they look so weird. Like you can actually see like the little magnets. Like it looks like I have like plastic stuck in my eyelashes because of these magnets. And it just doesn't look very like natural because it looks like it's just all really thick on the outer portion of my eye where I'm wearing the magnetic eyelashes. They're all just like almost kind of the same length. Whereas I think I just like, I'm so spoiled by my other eyelashes. I keep comparing these to them, but the other ones that I have that are the half length magnetic eyelashes, they are 
so much easier to apply. There's only one magnet, so you don't see like there's magnets on your eyes. Like it's so obvious I'm wearing magnetic eyelashes right now, but when I wear the other ones, they look so natural. The other ones also are long at the end, but thin and shorter towards the middle. So it looks so much like a natural blend with my eyelashes. These ones, like, I like how they look because I really like a dramatic eyelash. Just like up close, like in person, you can so see the magnets and it looks so weird and I don't think there's any way to really hide them. Like I could put eyeliner on my upper lid, but it's still gonna look like I'm wearing plastic in my eyelids because it's like a little bit bumpy down at the base of them. I'm just gonna put the other ones on to finish up this video. Okay, magnetic eyelashes are on. Like, I guess these are less of a fail than the full length ones, but to me, these are just still like pretty unwearable and like a waste of money. I feel like I'm probably like a lot of people where I was really excited about Ardell, which is a really good eyelash company, coming out with magnetic eyelashes and they just seem so easy, like you don't have to worry about the glue, you can throw them on. But these were just like such a letdown. But if you are interested in magnetic eyelashes, I highly recommend them if you can get a good pair, and that's why I highly recommend you check out my other video and the other eyelashes that I really do like and I think are very wearable and easy and inexpensive. The ones that I like were less expensive than the Ardell ones. So go check that out if you're curious. So day 24 was pretty much a fail at trying a new makeup product, but I'm glad I know now because I was just so interested in them. I don't have to feel like I'm missing out on the Ardell Magnetic Eyelashes anymore because now I have them and now I don't want them. Thank you so much for watching my video. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see all of the new makeup products that I try every day and I will see you in my next video.